1966 MG Midget. So this is a uh, square arch, chrome bumper, wire wheel car. This one's fresh from just having a brand new clutch fitted. Uh, I believe it's had quite a lot of other stuff done to it as well. If you check the description, we'll detail everything we know about that. Finished in this lovely, almost French blue color. I wouldn't call it French blue, but it's not far off it. Um, with a blue and, blue and white piped interior and a blue hood. Really nice color combination. Let's start by having a look at the bodywork. If we start on this front driver's corner and look down, you can see the bodywork's nice and straight all the way down. All panel gaps are nice and even. This front driver's wing, lovely and tidy. There's no real marks or anything to point out. Behind the, uh, the bumper, where this is sort of normally where the corrosion would start. That's all nice and tidy down there. The arch, lovely and sharp all the way around. Nice and clean down the bottom there. Like I say, it's got the wire wheels with the knockoffs. Good quality tire with plenty of tread left on there. Coming down this driver's side, you can see along the sill. Lovely and tidy all the way along. The correct bungs are in the right places, all that sort of stuff. We do have a scratch just here. As you can just see there, very light one. But underneath, you can see that sill and the floor itself, all good and straight. We do have a little mark here where the doors caught the paint at some point um, and a stone chip that's sort of bubbled up slightly just below it on the door there. Um, but you do have to get quite close to notice it. The, uh, this section here around the bottom of the screen, all nice and tidy. We do have a little bit of paint chipped off where again the bonnet's caught the paint at some point. Coming down the rest of the driver's side, we've got a small scratch just next to the wing mirror there. Along this seam, that's all nice and tidy. And then into this rear arch again, nice and sharp. No sign of any corrosion coming through, another good wheel and tyre. Rest that rear quarter, all nice and tidy, especially down the bottom here where again, you can get your hand under there, normally it's where it starts to go. It's all nice and solid in there. Coming around onto the back, both tail lights are bright and clear. Bumper sits nice and straight. Chrome wise, it's pretty good. Tiny little bit of pitting here and there, but generally pretty good. On the filler caps, all nice and neat. Same with the barge area. Rest of the bootleg, all nice and tidy. Has had an aerial at some point, which has been fitted with a bung. Coming onto this passenger side, we have a very, very tiny little scratches there on the rear quarter behind the wheel. Again, underneath here, all nice and sharp, as is the rest of the arch all the way around. And another good wheel and tire. Rest of that rear quarter, all nice and tidy. Have a look on, on the sill on this side, and again, same as the other side. It's not been sort of rammed up any curves or jacked up wrong or anything like that. Got a little bubble in the paint just starting just there. Sort of midway down the car. Passenger door nice and neat and tidy. As is this front section here coming up along and along under the windscreen. On the front wing, again nice and tidy and this seems all good. Nice and sharp all the way around. We've got a light little scratch just at the front there. Another good wheel and tire. And then round on the front, headlights and side lights, all nice and clear on both sides. Grill is lovely. Could do with a really good clean, which we'll do, but other than that, all good. A little bit of chrome flaking off on the overrider there. But other than that, the rest of the bumper nice and tidy. We've got a little bit of reaction starting underneath the chrome there as well. Tops of the wings are all nice and neat. We do have a scratch here that's been touched in, it's slightly darker. You can just see that there. And then the rest of the bonnet. Nice and neat, nice and straight. Chrome work up the centre section, that's all good. The hood, again, dark blue contrasting compared to the lighter blue of the car, which is a nice touch. Lovely condition, it's nice and tight. There's no sort of, you'd start to get sort of splits here on the ribs, but they're lovely. Rear windows are nice and clear. They've not dried out or gone yellow. All the press studs are nice and tight as well. This one is a pack away hood, so you drop it down, lift it out, put it in the boot, put it under the, or behind the rear seat. This is the earlier style rather than the ones that are fixed and drop down and then you need a tonneau cover. Moving on to the interior. Got this nice medium blue with a, a white pipe, which are really nice combo with the, with the exterior. Driver's seat, a little bit grubby on the left hand, on the right hand side, sorry. All the piping nice and nice and bright. It's not 
it's not collapsed, it's lovely and firm. There's no sort of rips or tears or anything in it. And behind that, all the carpet set and the trim to the bulkhead, all nice and tidy. Around the steering wheel, that's all good. We're showing 99,586 miles. If you check the description, we'll detail what we know as far as, so, so, as, far as sort of history, service history, all that sort of stuff. And then into the boot, you do have a tonneau cover, a full size spare wire wheel. As you can see inside the boot, no sign of any corrosion or any moisture or anything like that. Underside of the boot, that's all good as well. Moving round on the passenger side, another nice door card. Door shuts on both sides are nice and tidy. And then this seat is very good. We've got a little bit of a mark just here, but that does look like it will clean off. It looks just a wee bit of grease or something like that. Dash is all nice and clear. All of the dials are bright. You can read them all. They're not sort of missing it up, but hazed over or, or, or dirty or anything like that. Well, the carpet set in there is nice. You're going to have to excuse some dodgy camera work while we lift the bonnet up. Sort of a two-handed job on, on, a, on a midget. He says making it look very difficult. There you go. Pinned up. Like I say, it's, it's fresh from having a, a new clutch fitted. Um, but we'll detail all of that in the description. But nice and standard in there. You can see that bulkhead all nice and clean and tidy. It's got a little bit of dust on it, but there's no sign of any corrosion or anything coming through. We do have a bit of sealing tape on the on the intake. This front panel, that's all good. The underside of the bonnet is nice as well. Uh, and this one starts on the button. I've got a little bit of choke on there. First turn of the key fires straight up. That it's stone cold. We haven't started it this morning. Lovely and smooth. Nothing nasty flying out the back. So there you have it. Chrome bumper, MG midget. If you've got any questions at all, please get in touch. Of course, you can come and view the car anytime you want. Just let us know, we'll book you in. If you can't get to see it, again, let us know. We can do photos, we can do a video call, we can send you extra videos, whatever you might need. Thank you.